Hi, welcome to my floor. Okay, so this is very impromptu. I did not have this planned, but I feel like those are the best videos. Okay, so I have a lot of jeans. You know what, let's show you. So here are the jeans that I have, I know, and I love, and I wear, and I've reached for, and I know what they are, and I just love them. <laughs> these are all of them, plus this pair on the bed. Now, these are the jeans <laughs> that I have that I don't know about. I just don't know if I wanna keep them, and we're gonna try them on together and decide whether I'm gonna keep them. And then you can kind of like see my process of how I decide whether I'm gonna keep something. I'm gonna change right here. We're gonna do it together. First, Levi's rib cage, like boot cut. And these are the black ones. All right, let's see. I'm gonna take off this so you can actually see the jeans. All right, so the rise is pretty good. It's my belly button. The leg is like really reminding me of what I used to wear in grade seven. The butt, you can't really see, but the butt is good. The butt is good. So hmm. I'm gonna say a no to these because the shape is reminiscent of what I used to wear in grade seven. I literally feel like I'm in middle school again. Okay, so these will go into my no pile. So I also know that I have them in this color and I'm just gonna not try them. Actually, you know what? I'll try them on just for you guys so you can see because I know the black was hard to see. And I do like the rib cage top. Oh, these are tight. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> okay, so here they are. Like, they actually do look good, but I just, I don't know. I just can't do it. I don't know, I can't do the leg. I, I, I don't know. I'm sure everyone who's like Gen Z is gonna be like, no, that leg is so nice. But guys, it feels, So no for the Levi's. <laughs> okay, so the next ones are Kate. And I love the brand Kate so much. These are size 24, so they're a little tight everywhere. And like, so, I don't know, they're so tight on my calves. Like, I don't, they're so tight on my legs. And like at 24, that's like a good size for me. I can't, I can't even bend down. I can't even down these. Like imagine, imagine I go to dinner and then I have to sit down in the chair. No, it's not happening. So if you like, I love cage and the jean is really nice, but oh baby, these are tough. <laughs> but a little pancakey. So size up in Kate jeans. These are like the rigid straight leg or something, but I love everything about them other than the fact that they're super tight. Next are Rin Aritzia Denim Forum, size 24, the Nina Stovepipe. I feel like these are what the Kate jeans like should look like on. Oh, these are actually really nice, okay. Hmm. Denim Forum, Nina Stovepipe, size 24. The leg is good, like with a heel. Rise is nice. Oh, these so, but. <laughs> Uh, boot butt's nice. Yeah, these are great. I'm gonna keep these. These are great. Wow. Can't believe I haven't worn these. These are great fall jeans. And this is what happens when you have so many jeans is that you never wear them. You don't know what the fuck's going on. Keep, yay, I like that we have a keep. <laughs> Do I like that? Okay, next. These Zara jeans. I feel like I can never get the right size. These are a US zero, which is a size 32 in Zara. And I find Zara just like, I don't know. Their sizes are so small. Like I, I think I should be a, a zero. Whew. Okay. Whew. Uh, they're nice. See, okay, here's my issue. Waist is like a little tight, but it's fine, you know? In throughout here, pretty tight throughout here. 
And like, I don't even have hips really. Like I'm not that curvy. So to not have enough room in here, I mean, I, I do like, kind of have a butt, which would stretch that out, but like <sighs> tight. What my issue is, is the vagina area is like, why are you trying to suffocate her? Like give her some room to breathe. But I, other than that, like I love the leg, I love the jean, but it's just like a little too tight. Maybe if I like stretch them out. Like if I'm sitting for dinner, not that you sit like this, but if I'm sitting for dinner, I'll be uncomfortable for sure. Okay, I'm gonna keep these. I don't know why, but I'm gonna keep them. Another pair of Zara. These are the mom. I think they're a mom jean. Love the rise. Hate the color. Don't like the ribs. Booty's good. These are a size two. So 34. What do you think guys? Comment down below what you think, if I should keep or if I should give these away. I don't love the color though. I'm leaning towards let's give them away, donate them, whatever, you know. Comment down below what I should do. I feel like for the next couple ones it's gonna be tough and I'm gonna need your help. Maybe that would, that's what this video should be called. Help me decide what jeans to keep. Okay, uh, I feel like a lot of, huh. I feel like a lot of these were Zara. All right, these are a wide leg, dark wash. <gasps> hmm. It's just inconsistent. The waist now, totally fine. I can breathe in that. The problem is this hip area is like suffocating, suffocating the vagina. I think a no because, I mean, they're not like deathly uncomfortable but I don't love them and there's like space here, but there's no space here. And listen, it is so hard to keep sizing consistent. I own a clothing brand, I know. It's so difficult. Sizing is just so difficult to do, but I mean, Zara's also like a multi-billion dollar company. Multi-billion? Yeah, for sure. Okay, so I think I'm gonna give these away. What do you think? They're really nice, but I just feel like, I don't know, I'm just like, if something's so uncomfortable, do you keep it? I don't know. And I think that these are the same ones, but in black. And what I find is that black is always stiffer. Black jeans have a smell. I'm just instantly just, there's just a no. Can't even throw, can't even try them on. Okay, these aren't jeans, but they're a pair of pants and they're from Verge Girl, size six. Which at Oz six, I think is a zero. Have I ever tried these on? Too big, literally, way too big. In theory, very cute though, but I guess I get them taken in. But do I even like, like them? Should I keep these if I got them taken in? I think they could be cute. Keep and get taken in or sell on Poshmark. All of this stuff will be listed on my Poshmark for sure. I want all of these things to go to a nice home. Okay, what are these? Okay, these are also Zara, size two. And these are like the mid-rise. Love the color of these, this jean. I love the leg. What's going on up top? Let's see. I mean, I know these are a mid-rise, so they aren't a high rise. Yeah, they're like kind of cute, like a like a loungy. I think I wore these a lot in LA. I don't know, I always just I feel like something off about Zara jeans. Like it's like almost there, but it's not perfect. So these are size two and these are the mid-rise. But they do like this jean color and everything is really great. Next are these a goldy white jeans. And a goldy jeans fit so large. Oh, did I get these taken in? Oh, I did. Oh, okay, these are sick. I had to get these taken in, they're size 23, but I ended up getting them, how many times did I say taken in? I'll link them down below, I can't remember the name, but I got them. <laughs> I got them taken in, have I told you? But these are good. Yeah, keeping these for sure. Cute. Uh, so if you're looking for a Goldie jeans, size down, always, maybe two sizes, honestly. Okay, so these are um, the ones I'm wearing. Are they dirty? No. These are the Zara jeans, um, the like blue, lighter blue flared ones that I end up keep keeping, I think. These are them in white and like they feel better, you know? And I know fat, it's, it's hard because it's the same size, but because that's a denim and a more rigid denim, it's tighter. And then these are a white, which is usually thinner, which has more give. So these uh, don't feel as tight. They definitely are still tighter on the waist, but 
They're good. I'm gonna keep these. These are really, these are a good pan. Like I might wait to dinner tonight. Forgot about them. This is why I have to do this often because I forgot about, I forget about what I have. Okay, so these aren't jeans, but they're from Everlane and they're like a cargo pant or like painter's pant. And I hate them. <laughs> it's a little too cropped. What do you think? I don't, I don't think they're for me. This is how I test stuff out. I said, I think they're just too cropped. I'm not like, what am I gonna wear that with? You know? No, I think it's a no. I vote no, you? I love these. I think these are from, I, can't, I don't know if I got them taken in or like they just fit. Literally can't remember. I guess I should show you. These are so cute. Wait, wide leg. They kind of criss cross at the front. I think they're supposed to, yeah. With a heel, that's a good pant, I think. Okay, nice. Guys, that's it. So this is my keep pile. And then this is my give pile. Let me know if there was any jeans that you think I should have kept or if there are jeans that I kept that you hate. Let me know if you like this. Is this zoomed in? Yeah. Let me know if you like this kind of video. I feel like this is like a very nice way to like hang out. Oh, also I'm gonna dye my hair, but I'm gonna do it myself. And I wanna know, because I'm gonna do this in a vlog, what color should I dye my hair? Let me know. I'm gonna show you the color options right now. And then you guys are gonna decide what color I dye it. First option, aquamarine. Second option, rose gold. I have dyed my hair pink before. Actually, it was technically rose gold. If you remember that, comment a pink heart down below. <laughs> Hibiscus, which is also a pink. Could be fun. Could maybe mix these. That could be interesting. Cocoa. My hair's already brown, so I don't know about that one. Champagne. I don't know what that one could be, but maybe blonde, but I've been, I've been blonde, but champagne. The last one, which is the one that I am kind of thinking is called Bordeaux, which is like a red. Or is it a purple? I want it to be a red, but if it's a purple, I don't know about that. Okay, those are my options. I have these col Moroccan oil color depositing masks and I wanna try. Which one should I do? And I'll, I'll, I'll dye it with you on camera. Okay, thanks so much for watching this video, guys. That was fun. Love y'all, peace and love. Bye.